Good evening. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wanted to follow on from the other day. There's Delilah the dog barking. Um, and uh, just do a really quite short live today. That's the plan anyway. Um, because I realised that we've been looking at music reading and how to read the notes. Say hi when you jump on, by the way. I can see with the, the numbers of viewers are going up. So hi, say hello. Um, tell me something like, tell me what you've had for your dinner this evening. Come on. We've just had, um, we've just had burgers, but we had ours without the bread because we're trying to be good. So we had ours with, with, um, with salad and things. And Matty had his. He's my son. He's 14. He had his with bread, of course and chips but we didn't anyway so tell me because i can't see once again i can't see any comments yet and i'd love to just check that you can hear me okay um pop in the comments what you've had for dinner tonight <laughs> and anyway i love food and i'm nosy so um i wanted to to kind of follow on because it's all very well me telling you about where the notes are and how to read the notes on um in music but if that doesn't actually relate to sound then there's very little point behind it so what I wanted to do is kind of connect what we did the other day with the piano keyboard and that's where forks and chopsticks come in you see we've got such a food theme going on I love food oh here's Mr G hello Roberto and, and as he's uh, you see I wasn't lying to you we had burgers we had burgers uh, what about anybody else what about anybody else what have you had for dinner this evening? I need to know. These things are important. So I wanted to, to relate what we've been doing to, um, to the piano. So I'm going to just turn things around. I'm sure other people have got much, much fancier setups than me. Homemade pizza. All, oh, I love homemade pizza. I love homemade pizza. Mr. G makes fantastic homemade pizza. Now you can see fried onions and salad. Yeah, you see? Fried onions. See, we're allowed a little bit of fat. It's just the carbs that are that are a little bit, um, a little bit, um, what's the word? Not allowed. <laughs> Look, grilled chicken, Turkish style. Oh, wow. Love Turkish food. There's an, an amazing Turkish restaurant that we've been to in Fulham in London. And uh, amazing Turkish breakfast and Turkish food. <sighs> Talk about food all day. But that's where the, the forks and chopsticks come in. <laughs> So the other day, uh, you see, and I've left this just as it was. Look at the continuity, eh? Um, and uh, we talked about how to find a G and what have you. But we did talk about, and this is what's relevant for today. We talked about music being based on the first seven letters of the alphabet. Don't forget, guys, just uh, don't forget to um, hit the share button. Oh, and I must tell you, I must tell you before I forget got a little plan i've been a bit excited i'm that's why i decided to do a live because i'm still buzzing i'm working on a little project at the moment but i can't release what it is just yet but i'm dead excited let's just leave it at that i am really excited and in due course i promise to share it with you so what you need to know is come on i need to see other people what you had for your dinner put it in the comments and they can see that you're um that you're you can hear me okay so we use the first seven letters in the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now, you might look down at the piano and think, well, hang on a minute, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. This is all very well and good, but how on earth do you know what is what on the piano? Well, good job you're here then, isn't it? Um, what does Mr. G say? I need to make stuff, more stuff from those Turkish food books. Yes, you do. Crack on, crack on. I'll be your, um, I'll be your tester. So forks and chopsticks. Right, let me explain to you how this links with... The letters of the musical alphabet well on the piano we have groups of two and three black notes this is how we find our way around on the piano so when you've got two black notes together well just think chopsticks when you use chopsticks you have two chopsticks so that links with that and chopsticks begins with the letter c so guess what just to the left of the two black notes that is your letter C. Okay, so you've got your two chopsticks, letter C to the left. Fork. Okay, well, when you have a fork, you tend to have three prongs of a fork. So over here, who's next, my um, blue tack? Here it is. The three prong prongs of a fork. Well, what does a fork begin with? It begins with an F. 
So you know that that is a C, just to the left of the two chopsticks, and just to the left of the fork, you've got an F for fork. That means that you can find every single C on your piano by looking for the two, and then you can find all of the C's going up, you can find all of the F's. And then if you know this pattern, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, you can use that knowledge to find any note possible on the piano. Can you see how this is going to link up with what we were doing the other day with the, uh, with the music reading? So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. How simple is that and that goes for the entire piano you now know if you need to know that you know the entire white keys of the piano find you see a b c d e f g a b c d e f so if you have a piano i challenge you if you didn't know this before go and find all the c's on your piano go and find all the f's on your piano because then, this is when we're going to relate it to the music reading that we have been doing. And let's just turn this around so that I can see you. So, it, as I said, for me, it's quite a short live. I'd love you to hit the share button. But, as I said, I am absolutely desperate to tell you what I have in the pipeline. Because it's phenomenally exciting. Um, all I can say is it's work in progress and, and I'm not entirely sure when the launch date is going to be, but no, no, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I, I was so close to telling you then. I can't, I can't because I want to have it in place before I tell you and before I launch, but I promise I will tell you as soon as I possibly can. Anyway, if you've been following these lives, super, please make sure that you hit the like and follow button for the piano school. Don't forget, please do share if you know of anybody who's learning music and would like a little bit extra because this is all free value that I'm giving to you. Um, and thank you for your lovely messages of, of, yeah, of support and how people have been saying lovely things like it's made them really, um, made things really easy to understand. And that's what I'm about. Oh, do you like my music top, Kay? Oh, yeah, cool. It's my, uh, it's my piano uniform. <laughs> it's not a uniform at all, but I do love it. Um, okay, so uh, as I say, I, I will let you know my new project in due course, but I'm so pleased that I, I think so many people are afraid of music and it's, it's some kind of weird kind of magical gift that you... Reading music, understanding music isn't a magical gift. It's just knowing the, the quickest ways and the tips and tricks for doing that. And um, hopefully I can share that with you and get that out into the world. So hit the share button. Please remember to like and follow my Piano School page. Um, and I promise I will let you know my plans. I'm so tempted to tell you, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I promise to let you know my plans. In order interesting gentleman walking over here oh hello and um, my, my my plans in due course i promise to let you know no I'm not saying right i'm gonna go thank you so much for watching hit the share button see you